If you're looking to get your first cybersecurity certificate, I know that it's a lot of research and work to try and make sense of all these different certificates that are available. So don't worry, this video, I got you. I have been doing my research on what are the best cybersecurity related certificates to do and when and who should take them, depending on where you are in your cybersecurity journey. But before we do that, I gotta quickly give a shout out to our sponsor, Coursera, for making this video happen. Let me introduce you to the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Coursera. And not only it gives you the foundation that you need, but they also show you how to manage security risks, the basics of network security, as well as all the basic tools that you need to succeed. And it doesn't just stop at showing you everything you need to break into cybersecurity. They also help you with your resume, interview prep, and help plan your career with their job search. And guess what? It is 100% online and you can learn at your own pace and you can complete this program in under six months if you dedicate only seven hours a week. So click that link down below and get a seven day trial. Try it out and let me know in the comments, what do you think? But all right, let's jump into the video itself and talk about these different security certificates. The first one we wanna talk about is the Cisco CCNA. This is one of the most popular ones and I still get questions about, is CCNA still relevant to get? And honestly, I think it is very relevant because of the fact that Cisco is wildly used. And a lot of times I see people that have broken into cybersecurity by doing CCNA. And honestly, if you don't wanna do CCNA, it's too much, it's too expensive. You do have the CompTIA options. But also, I just want to keep that in mind that CCNA itself is really relevant because of how big Cisco is in the networking field. What you can expect out of this certification is just the basics of networking. This isn't specifically to break you into cybersecurity, but if you're coming from a background where you don't have any experience in IT and you don't have anything in cybersecurity and you want to break into getting a job in this field, then getting something like your CCNA or something similar to it is always the first step to getting in there. Not really relevant to cybersecurity, but I know a lot of folks have gotten this and then later moved on to the next cert. And having it on the resume has been super helpful. I just want to quickly talk about CCNA because I know there's going to be a lot of questions about it coming up. But I also want to talk about CompTIA's option because you have more options looking at CompTIA certificates like the A+, you have your Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, and Pentest+. Plus. Those are all the four that I know a lot of people have gone after. Starting with the A+, Plus because A+, Plus is going to give you the basics of IT. So if you're coming from a background where you don't have any solid foundation of IT, maybe you didn't go study computers and you want to get a change in career, then A plus is a really good place to start. And if we look at their website really quickly right here, you can see it is going to teach you things like operating systems, software troubleshooting. It's going to give you some understanding of security. It's going to talk about virtualization and cloud computing, mobile devices, and obviously networking at a high level. But then you want to jump into your network plus. Your network plus is going to be where you learn more of the foundations for networking. And it's going to help you prepare for jobs like a junior network administrator, maybe a computer technician, a network support specialist, a systems engineer. Again, not cybersecurity, but the networking community has always been one of the strongest communities that's been helping people to break into cybersecurity itself. Those are just the three that we talked about, the CCNA, the A+, and Network+. Plus. They are not really a prerequisite, but they are a really good place to get started. Again, if you're not coming from a solid cybersecurity background or just general IT. So keep those in mind. Not really cybersecurity related, but it is going to get you past HR, especially if you're just doing a change of careers. Now let's talk about Security+. Plus. Security+, Plus, it is very, very popular. I'm actually going to bring up a LinkedIn search in just a bit to see how many of them are going to have Security Plus as a requirement. But this is going to be what is going to get you past the HR in a number of different ways. And it is going to teach you things like general security concepts, threats and vulnerabilities, how to fix them, security architecture, security operations, and then obviously you're going to see things like security program management and oversight. And it is also going to prepare you for cloud pen testing jobs, a junior pen tester job, network security analyst, web app pen tester, and also security architect. So there's a lot of big jobs you can see here, but I want to kind of prove how popular Security Plus is. And now if we take a look at these searches on LinkedIn, you can see the first job right here that is a senior information security specialist. So now let's look at another job right here. We're going to look at this senior cybersecurity and we're going to look for CompTIA. And you can see again, all of these different 
jobs that we're looking for that have a requirement or a desire for somebody with security plus obviously you're going to have your giac and some of these other ones like oscp and say ssp that are also going to be in there but i kind of wanted to show how often it is that you're going to see something like security plus being one of the security certificates that is required or desired by people that are employing for these positions. But so far we've talked about the prerequisites like the Network Plus, A Plus, which are things that you wanna learn before we jump into cybersecurity. We talked about Security Plus, that is going to kind of show you the basics of security. But now I'm gonna talk about the red versus blue sides of things. If you want to be on the blue side of things, when you're working on the defensive side of cybersecurity, you want to take some sort of a certificate that is going to focus more on the defensive side. So for example, here we have the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. This one is going to get you ready for a security analyst role, a vulnerability management analyst, maybe you want to be on a SOC team, a security engineer, or a threat hunter. But you also have your pen test plus, which here is going to focus mostly on the offensive side of things. This one is going to talk about planning, scoping out a pen test, information gathering, vulnerability scanning, how do you attack and exploit, how to write a good report and communicate with your customer or your clients. And of course, you're going to have your tools and code analysis. This one is great if you want to become a web app pen tester, a cloud pen tester, network security operations, but keep that in mind, you are on the offensive side with Pentest Plus versus the other one with your Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. You are on the blue side, which is on the defensive side of cybersecurity. So please keep that in mind. If you're looking to jump into cybersecurity, you don't know what you like, you may want to play some CTFs, go on one of these platforms and see if you are wanting to do more on the defensive side versus offensive side, which one is more interesting to you before you start to branch off and pick one of those two itself. Me personally, I like to be on the offensive side. So this video is going to be mostly on the offensive side of things, but I want to make sure I make that available to you so you do understand that you also have that option to be a defender and not be on the red team or on the attacking side of things. So keep that in mind, but let's move on and talk about your pen test certs. These are going to be probably the most popular ones on LinkedIn when you look for jobs that are very focused on attacking and breaking into things. Starting with CEH, and if you're watching this and you're not a fan of CEH, I understand this certificate itself gets a lot of flock online from a lot of people because most of this content that's available for CEH, you can learn on your own. You can go on WebSec Academy, for example, or sign up for one of these CTF platforms and learn them for free. But honestly, CEH is going to be a good place if you have no web application pen testing background. And if we look at the course outline online, you can see right here that it's going to teach you everything you need to know for ethical hacking, for example, from vuln analysis, the system hacking to sniffing, social engineering, DOS, hacking web servers, SQL injection, IoT hacking, cloud, cryptography, and so on. And if we look up CH or certified ethical hacker, you're gonna see 7,000 or more jobs that are just specifically looking for security folks with a CH background. So keep that in mind. I know it gets a lot of crap getting your CH and it's really, really expensive, but it is one of those certificates that it's going to be getting you through HR and helping you with your resume. But it doesn't just stop there. There are other certificates you can do that are more reputable, at least from the hacker side of things, starting with OSCP, which is your offensive security certified professional. OSCP or anything by offensive security is probably one of the most respected certificates out there. And you can see right here on their syllabus directly from their website, they're going to teach you a lot of different things in starting with getting you into a Cali VM, setting it up, and then all the way down to security strategies, looking for methodologies, case studies, tactics, the test for this, it is absolutely hard. I think you have 24 hours to break into a bunch of different machines and write a report. It is probably one of the most stressful and hardest certificates to get through. But honestly, if we go back to our LinkedIn search and look up OSCP, there is going to be a lot of different jobs. For example, this Pentest job with Blue Shield of California, that is also going to require your OSCPs. I think if you have something like a Network Plus, A Plus, or you have even done your Pentest Plus and you want to go a step further, OSCP is definitely the way to go. I just understand that this is very expensive. There are also cheaper options that you can get. For example, TCMSEC has a great option for the PNP. I think is what they call it as an alternative route to go. Whether you do your OSCP or PNPT, that all just comes down to which one is going to get you past HR. But honestly, OSCP has probably been one of the most successful ones. And I know a lot of folks that go and get their OSCP as just a strategy to break into cybersecurity and get a job on an offensive security team. I think it's a really good stopping point for us. I didn't even get to talk about SANS or GIAC certs. If you want to hear more about those certificates, drop me a comment. I'd love to cover them, but I don't want to make this too long. I just want to quickly make a video and answer a lot of the questions 
questions around certificates. Where should I start? What should I get? In short, if you're looking to break into cybersecurity, do an A plus and network plus together. Those will get you the basics of IT and also make you understand networking. If you don't want to do CompTIA, you also have the CCNA. On the other hand, if you already understand IT and you know cybersecurity at the basic levels, you understand security and you want to get a job with a blue teamer, for example, do something like your CISA plus, or you can jump into the offensive side with a pen test plus. If you've already done those and you're ready to go to the next level, I would personally recommend just skipping CEH, but I do understand that it's very, very possible. So if you have the money or a scholarship, get your CEH or just jump over through OSCP, get OSCP and start applying for jobs. And honestly, the other best thing that you can always do is go through LinkedIn, look at all these different job listings, see what are the requirements to get these jobs, how many of these certificates or the ones that I haven't covered show up in each of these different jobs and just go after them and learn them on your own. All right, that's it. I know that was a lot of information thrown at you. I hope this gives you an idea for the best cybersecurity certificates for beginners, especially if you don't have a background with IT. And if it does, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.